trainer at Green Zone Health and Fitness and today I wanted to give a quick video on how to use a foam roller. I'm sure you've seen them in your gym. They come in all kinds of sizes, long, different knobs and things like that. But the foam roller that I suggest kind of the people begin with is uh, the, hard, the harder foam. Um, it'll be a little better for your muscles. So what I want to start off with is our quads. So let's go ahead and set it down. We're gonna lay down on it. And you put, start off with both legs on there. So that'll kind of give you a little less pressure on just one single one, which would make it kind of painful. But as you get better, what I want you to do is kind of have one leg off of it on the ground, and then you can go ahead and kind of move that leg around, kind of pinpoint the areas that are kind of the sorest, the most tender. Just go nice and easy over it. Now I want to show you how to do uh, the side of your leg. This gets tender on a lot of people once you start act activity. So what I want to do is I want to kind of go into a little bit of a side plank. I want to have your top leg over the leg to take some weight off of there for you. So then you're just going to kind of pick like six inch section in there. Go ahead and start rolling about five or six rolls each, each one. I like to spend about 30 to maybe 60 seconds on each, each body part. So then I'll move it a little closer down to the knee and I'll do it there as well. Now once you progress from there, you start feeling kind of like it's a little easy. I want to go into a full version where you're going to have all of your weight then on that leg. And that's going to really help those muscles loosen up for you. So now I want to show you some how to use the roller to get your glute and your hamstring. So for your glute, I want you to sit on the side here, kind of keep a hand off, the, off to give some weight off of your glute so you're not fully on there. And just kind of roll the whole thing. And then what I like to do is kind of move around so you get all areas of it. We'll go down to our hamstrings. Go ahead and again, hands on the side, one leg off there. We're just gonna kind of pick six inches in there and we're gonna roll. You're going to do a handful of that area, and you're going to kind of move it a little closer to your butt. Do a handful of those. And again, every body part roll for about 30 to 60 seconds. Finally, for the legs, we're going to go down to the calves. You want to start off probably with one on there, one foot off. Again, manage that weight so that you're not putting too much pressure on there, but you should be kind of just feeling a nice kind of warming up of it. Now, when you find any spots in here, or any part of your body that is a little more tender, just kind of stay on that spot and be nice and easy on it on that roll. Now when you want to kind of kick up the intensity for the calves, let's go both of them on there and then you'll have more weight on your calves which will give it a little better, better roll for the more advanced people there. Now the last thing I want to show you is how to use the roller for your neck and for your back because that's in our era, kind of our society with our computer work and all the driving we do, we get tight in our necks and back. So let me show you how to fix that. So we're gonna lay down on our back. I wanna put the roller kind of right in the, the small of the neck there. And I just wanna kind of nice and easy turn the head back and forth. And again, just like with all your other muscle parts, muscle groups, just try and find kind of the tender spots and just kind of roll them out. It's just, just a way to massage and it kind of warms the muscles up. Now for your back, what I like to do is I start off, I hold my neck so you support your neck and you just nice and easily roll back. I like to kind of exhale when I do it and I go ahead and again just kind of find about six inches and kind of start rolling in that area and then work your way all the way down. So that's how you use a roller for your entire body. Um, I recommend you do it before your workouts as a warm up and then on your recovery days as well. And it's a great way to uh, limit injuries and really keep you progressing in the gym. So hopefully this was helpful to you. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment and don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thanks.